all right y'all hello welcome back to my channel if you are new here please don't forget to comment like share and to subscribe for more videos okay so it's late i'm sleepy but i said i gotta do this video so i came home and i was checking my mail right and so i said oh i got a check in the mail thank you jesus this ain't nobody but god thank you holy ghost ain't nobody but him okay so i opened it up right and i was like oh, okay this is okay this ain't what i thought <laughs> y'all i got a check in the bill right for three thousand dollars but it comes with some very very tight and huge stipulations now i just want to say this the blessings of the lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow baby what i got in the mail today is sorrow i got sorrow i got sorrow this is sorrow this is worration this is debt this is not what i want this is not what i want so it says let me read a little bit of the disclosure <clears throat> Put my throat. it says this is a solicitation for a loan read the attached disclosures before signing this agreement by endorsing the back of this check you accept our offer and agree to the terms of our loan agreement contained in the disclosure statement attached to this check baby y'all can keep this i don't want it like i just said the blessings of the lord make it rich and adds no sorrow young people anybody avoid stuff like this three thousand dollars but let me tell y'all what i gotta give back <clears throat> if you will go with me to the back of this paper it says I would have to get these jokers back $1,879.07, which is a total of $4,879. I'm saying $4,879.07. This is not a blessing. And then they make it sound like it's just, oh, this is something that's going to really uh, help you. No, no, I don't want no more debt. I don't want debt. I don't like debt. Um, what's his name? Uh, Dave Ramsey, my uncle. That's my uncle. Y'all didn't know that? Dave Ramsey always says, cash is king, debt is dumb. Debt is dumb, cash is king. Debt is dumb, cash is king. Young people, if you can avoid debt, avoid it. Now, I know some people say there are forms of good debt. I don't know. Um, but think about it. A lot of us, and I'm being straight up and I'm telling on myself too, we paying on stuff from two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, ten years ago. Food, trips, shirts, outfits, stuff we don't even use today. We still paying on it. All because of debt and all because of um, you know, buying on impulse or just really being careless with our money. But as you get older, you learn. You live and you learn. And baby, as I get older, at 62 years old, I've learned so much. And I've learned that I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like how, 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 how. Now, I will say this. I, I just don't like it. But, you know, like, when you get a new credit card, um, I've only, I don't want to know about it. Should I tell this? I'm going to tell it. I ain't trying to. I'm going to tell it. Okay. So, I'm 31. I've only had two credit cards my entire adult life. Only two. And I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them because it's like I gotta get y'all this every month. <laughs> I mean, the interest is stupid, you know. And then when I got the credit cards, I was like, Oh, I feel like an adult. I got credit cards. I'm still, you know, I got credit cards. I'm gonna keep my cash and pay with my credit card. Uh uh. If I can't pay cash, I don't want it. I don't need it. If I can't pay cash, I don't want it because. What I just say? We still paying on scarves, outfits, food, vacations from six, seven, eight years ago. We still paying on this stuff, and it's long gone. And you ever like bought something and or you know purchased something with a credit card, and then like maybe months or years later you look at it if you ain't paid it off yet, and you sit there you say, "What did I buy? I have nothing to show for it." nothing nothing so if you can't avoid it avoid it at all costs regional finance don't send me another piece of sorrow don't I, 
what's that scripture? It's, it's a scripture in the Bible, and it's in Psalms. Oh, no man but the love. I love you. I don't want to owe you. I love you. I don't want to owe you. I don't want to owe nobody. I don't owe nobody. I don't want it. You can keep it. I don't want it. So keep, keep away from this type of stuff. Keep away from trap. This is a trap. This is not of God. This is a trap. I try to avoid it at all costs. I try to. So I'm encouraging the next person. Save up your money and it's uh and i've been older to be for myself to be a better steward of what i have and if i can't pay cash for it i don't want it um i don't want it at all and yeah just young people run 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 from discover run from capital one run from bank of america them credit cards run if you can't pay cash run because you ain't gonna do nothing but be on and on them and on them run but yeah that's all i got um oh yeah let me say this too y'all before okay i did a video i had filmed or recorded or vlogged this video or i recorded this video right before doing it this time y'all i had a piece of I had a piece of greens in my teeth and had to and i felt like that was the, that was the actual best video and i went back to go edit it and post it i said lord i can't post this i got greens in my teeth <laughs> but anyway um again if y'all can avoid stuff like this don't do it don't do it yes it's good to build your credit if you know if that's your goal but think about it you don't need credit if you got cash you think if you go to a car lot with 50 60 thousand dollars in cash they're gonna ask to pull your credit score no because you paying cash so that's the power in cash not dead. You don't want to be owing people. Because that's why a lot of us can't get ahead because we owe everybody. But anyway, I will see you guys next video. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and to subscribe. And I will see y'all later.